Hey everybody, this is Rod from Diaspora Kicking the Bobo. Just coming to you with a short video. I guess everybody heard about the uh, attempted murder in Liberia of this missionary to his uh, new wife. You know, he was married in, to a woman in Iowa. He was supposedly be a Christian missionary. Asked the uh, mother if he could marry her daughter. She gave permission that only they have to do is do a traditional wedding they did it and then all of a sudden he tried to murder her and successfully killed their baby you know and then took her out into the uh, bushes and tried to kill her you know that's about what the gist of some of the stories you know um look let me tell you there's some evil people out there Everybody that says that they are a Christian is not Christian. Every organization that says that they are a Christian organization is not a Christian organization. Remember, these Christians are the ones that has been saying for 400 years that they love Jesus Christ, but tra treated their fellow man uh, in the worst of ways. Slavery, colonization, all of these people went to church on Sunday after they raped black women in gutted black men all of them so you have to keep that in mind don't trust everybody and by the way tell me this why do africa need missionaries now especially in west africa don't you know that west africans know the bible just as well as any other people There are so many churches here in America that are by West Africans, especially Liberians. They don't need white people in Africa preaching the gospel. That's just a way for people to just go to Africa on a some sort of trip just to say that they've been there, you know, and that they've done their, their duty as far as the Lord is concerned, you know? I'm a Christian. I love all mankind. But you know what? I never tried to enslave one. I never tried to rape one. I never tried to kill one. Be careful. Be careful about who you believe and who you let into your country. Now, what should happen is, is that Liberia should not let that man go back to America. Because they let him go back to America, they'll never see him again. And his wife would never receive justice. Look, and I'm going to tell you this right here for all Liberian women, not the ones who are in the diaspora, but to all Liberian women who are in Liberia. American women will not share their husbands. So, trust me. That woman did not know that he was trying to marry another woman. And if she did, she found out. She said, you better do something about that. Get rid of her. And now she don't want no babies. That could have been part of the problem. Because they said he came back to Liberia. And he's probably trying to tie up all the loose ends. You know, because that woman found out by the other missionaries that he married another woman and she literally probably got on her case. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Remember, Liberian women, American women do not share their men, period. If they do, they don't know it's happening. But with that, hey, God bless. You know, subscribe to my channel. Hey, see you next time.